I could just saunter out for you guys. <laughs> That's what I <laughs> like to do. All right, uh, EJ Marino, Flickering Myth. Hi, gentlemen. How are we doing today? Hi, Good. Very well, thanks. Good. I'm so excited to speak with each and every one of you about the work y'all put in for this. This is an mm. amazing film. Now, Mark, mid-century costuming is one of my absolute soft spots oh, in man, film. Thank you. you um, just did amazing costuming, especially for Carrie. What were your inspirations? What did you pull from, obviously, some real-life stuff? Right. But what else inspired your costuming? You know, uh, trying to tell the story through clothing. You know, hemlines are this, shoulders are like this, mm. uh, fabrics are color palettes. Uh, here's the time now to throw in a pair of pants on Carrie. You know, you figure out the beats, how to tell the story, and so really uh, the the movement of fashion in inspired some of the choices in the way we were going to present the story. Yeah, you saved me. There was no 1950, 1970s, so I was like, ah, we're doing caftans, we're in the 70s now. It, yeah, it was so yeah. smart to do it. Thank now, you. Now, Kevin, your production design those lively, moving sets. There's so much mm. going on. And then you add in the, the black and white filmmaking to the color filmmaking. Does that play a part in your production design? Same thing with costuming. Is that something you guys oh, take yeah. in mind? Absolutely. Going from both you know, filmmaking Absolutely. styles? Absolutely. I mean, I think the, uh, the film, up to a certain point, being black and white, is, uh, is interesting because you end up using um, textures more. You uh, do color tests, or you, you do film stock tests to mm -hmm. see what colors react to certain things. And then when you introduce color, you can say a lot about what time period you're in by the color palette. Like when we're in the 70s at the Dakota apartment, mm -hmm. you're in the 70s <laughs> in New York. Mm -hmm. you know? So um, uh, it was very challenging and very thought-provoking, and I think both Mark and I work closely together about how we are going to deal with the black and white in terms of all the fabrics and the set dressing and the costumes together. I mean, yeah. art department, the entire, is such a strong part of this film and it was so mm -hmm. great, but sound, Steve, <laughs> I absolutely love your previous work with Bradley. Hmm, this is great here. How is your collaboration together? Do you guys speak the same cinematic language? I always mm -hmm. think that helps yeah. when you guys can talk to each other. No, I think, know yeah. It. I mean, Bradley's very collaborative with everybody he hires. I mean, he, he hires the people that he trusts the most to to bring his vision forward. So this film, just like the, the previous one, uh, Star is Born, that we did, we wanted to make it, you know, that, that live sound feeling that, you know, you're at a concert in that in his previous film, we wanted to bring that to an orchestra and to the audience to, to really get everybody to feel they're in the middle of the of the performance, just like the conductor is. So, it, you know, we talked about that for years and how we would accomplish it. In fact, the film was delayed by a year because of COVID and you couldn't mm -hmm. have players playing together closely. Uh, mm -hmm. It wasn't safe. So, yeah, he, he was dedicated to the idea of of bringing the realism as much as he could, you know, to the to the picture and to the sound, and so that was that was the big. He was getting compliments from the London Symphony Orchestra <laughs> after he conducted the Ely scene. That's right. That they really yeah. were moved by his conducting. I mean, I felt yeah. it. I mean, just that cathedral scene, the sound work, the costuming, everything there. Yeah. Yeah. This is just such a good marry of all the departments coming together. Yeah. I think you guys did an amazing job, Bradley as the captain of the ship, but you guys all did so well. Thank you so uh, much. Thank you guys.